Bros, this is We to Play the Prince of Ushers of YouTube, and welcome back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, I was going to upload some videos yesterday after the premiere of Super Mario 3D World, but there were a couple of things that got mixed up with my schedule, and by the time it was over, I was just too tired, but I'm going to make up for it. Starting with this. Like I said, I would be playing Pokemon this week, and I was not lying. So it's time to go back to White City and finish up the Poke Cup battles. I'm halfway done. Hold on, let me turn it up a little bit more. I'll show you how grown-ups battle. Oh. I guess that goes for me too, cause you know I'm I'm a girl now. Don't don't question me. Alright, let's see. We got Miltake, Snubble. Um What is her strategy? It seems like she mostly has normal types, but she also has a few others. Hmm. Well I don't have any fighting types. Uh, okay, how about Fortress, Cyndaquil, and who should the other be? Hmm. Chikorita, because of the Quillfish. Although Quillfish is also part poison type, so... How about Umbreon as the last one? Just to be safe. So I plan on finishing this part up. That way I can do the last video for Pokemon Stadium 2 before I eventually do a live stream. Oh my gosh, that nail tank. She has style. I should be scared. Uh, let's see. How about rollout? I'm pretty sure Miltandy here has rollout too. The steel type's gonna definitely work in my advantage against normal types. Because normal type moves are barely gonna do any damage to my steel type fortress. Yeah, and I don't know why you're still doing it. Change up your strategy. That's what I sometimes do. I end up using different attacks to try to get different effects. If one thing doesn't work, then I try something else. But I guess... Oh. Oh, well. Hmm. Actually, they kind of evened up. Okay, I'm going to throw in some spikes now, and I can get some extra damage off the other two Pokemon once they are thrown into the field. Or if this lady has the gall to retreat her mill tank, then there's that too, I guess. Uh, Sandstorm? I'm just going to slowly chip away at Miltank. Miltandy. Oh, no. Gosh dang it. Why'd you have to delay the fight even longer? Gosh dang it. That was probably what she was going for, was to try to paralyze me. It worked. But that's not going to stop me from hopefully taking this victory. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna, just going to stick to strength because now that Fortress is paralyzed, there's a bigger chance of rollout continuing to miss. The more times rollout hits, the more damage it does. But if Fortress is paralyzed, then that gives like another... 50% chance that 
the attack will miss, or in this case, Fortress wouldn't be able to attack at all. Alright, just keep going, Fortress. You got this. You got this. Come on. Hit hard. Him hard. Nice. One more hit, and that should do it. Oh, wait, never mind. The sandstorm will do it for me. Miltandy fainted. You must be joking. You were the one who asked for it, girl. Maybe I'll go with Snubby. Well, he's already there, so I guess you are. Okay, I don't want Fortress to faint, but I have a feeling I could still... Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> also, why is Snubbity level 51? Like, why is it one more above me? That almost doesn't seem fair. All my Pokemon are stuck at level 50. Hmm. I need to figure out the best time to switch out. I feel like Fortress can continue going. Oh, takedown? Ooh. Yeah, but it still did some damage. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any problems going into all the other battles. So, I don't need to just spam on continues. I'll just keep using Fortress until he goes down? Nope. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. The next hit is going to definitely make Fortress faint. I mean, at the same time, then Snubbity won't be able to... Uh... Oh, well. I'm just not going to think about it. Thanks, Fortress. Thanks. Sorry I let you faint, but I don't want any of my other Pokemon to get damaged too quickly. I say Umbreon. Hopefully Umbreon's faster than Snubble at least. Uh, <laughs> I always got quick attack. Let's try faint attack. Nice. That's what I needed. Alright, she's got one last Pokemon. Let's see what we got. Of course, it's another normal type. I should have known. I think I'm going to work on lowering Chance D's accuracy. She can't hit what she can't see. Thanks. <laughs> Those references sometimes they have no reason to be in some of these videos. Oh no! Oh no, she has a track! Hmm... I don't want 
to just keep spamming sand attack. I do need to get some damage off of her. Oof, very light. This will attract you! Uh, Meats! I know, I'm barely, slowly trying to do something about that. I'll just keep using faint attack. That's my only strategy right now. I could switch to a different Pokemon, but oh no, it hit. Oh, dude, you're silly. Oh no, Umbreon, no. You can't fall in love with a Chansey. Oh. Thank goodness. Uh, okay, going back to the whole sand attack thing, because I have a feeling I'm going to have to switch out Umbreon. So I want to see if I can lower Chansey's accuracy all the way down. That way, when I send out Cyndaquil, she has less of a chance of having it hit. You'll have to forgive me. No, I won't. Alright, alright. I'm banking on you, Cyndaquil. Please don't mess up. I've done what I can. I could have lowered the accuracy more, but I just thought more about Icy Wind. I didn't know I was thinking about Icy Wind, but yay! No! Okay, that had its setback. Ooh! Dig, 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 dig! Dig a tunnel, dig, dig, dig a tunnel! Dig a tunnel! No! Dig a tunnel! Send a quail! Yay! Our accuracy lowering is coming in clutch! Can't hit me now, can you, Chancey? This will attract you! Oh! Oh, that's what I needed. Alright, let's finish up with Headbutt! Use Egg Bomb! Blow it away! Nope. Nope. And that is Game Set and Match! Friends, fans, and fam! I don't get an extra continue, but at least I beat the battle. Alyssa's been defeated. Well, I guess the way you do things is all right. The storm badge is mine. Next, we're going for the mineral badge. So let's keep this going. I got three continues. I shouldn't have any problems. Uh... You wanna know who I am? You honestly think I could, like, tell you? I'm fighting a burglar. I'm fighting a... Why did you come here? How'd you get in? I have so many questions that I know won't be answered. Hmm... Okay, told a dial. Mostly told a dial. They might all be fire types. We got an Electabuzz. Uh, Fortress is probably not a good idea. But at the same time, there's a Gligar. But more than likely, he's gonna use all his fire types. Charmeleon. Houndour, and Quillala. So... I guess I'll go Umbreon and Cyndaquil. But Toll Dial's the ace. More than likely he's going to use fire types. 
go Tonadile! Like hustle, hustle! I told it. Alright, time to wash it out. Wash them out. Wash them. I had it and then I lost it. Ooh, speaking of losing it, told I it took some damage there. Eek. Problem is, he's not very fast compared to some of the other Pokemon. Jalor has been defeated. No, that's pitiful. Yes, it's very pitiful that you would try to enter this competition. Whoa, Puzzlar! Well, I was wrong about him picking all fire types. Um, you know what? I feel like I'm still gonna need you later, Tall Dial, so I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna switch with Umbreon, I guess. Could have kept Fortress. That would have helped. But I didn't. I really thought the burglar was going to use all fire types. Silly me. So maybe his tactic is to use the... <laughs> nice. I actually called that. Um... Sand attack, maybe? Let's go with the faint attack for right now. Oh. He's what using is? payday! Coins were scattered everywhere! Can I pick them up? That? That Does Umbreon point. have thief? Oh, no. Nope. Uh... Hmm. Okay, Persian is obviously faster than Umbreon is, so at this point I guess I'm just going to keep attacking. I'm still doing more damage than Persian is. Perslar, as her nickname is. So at this point, this is a good strategy. Not the best strategy, but this strategy will work. Two more hits, and Purr's Law is going down. Which makes me think maybe I could have used Mean Look, just to make sure. The burglar didn't come up with any sneaky, sneaky ideas, but he's not gonna. He's just gonna watch his kitty cat bite the dust. You are a terrible trainer. You're not even a trainer! You're just a menace to society. I'm gonna take you down! Alright, so we had two out of three fire types. I'm gonna go for a sand attack for right now. Hopefully it lands. Yeah, light isn't the first thing that comes to mind. There we go. Accuracy lowers a little bit. And now I'm going to... You know what? Cyndaquil has dig. This is a great idea. We'll switch out with Cyndaquil. The Flamethrower will barely do any damage to Cyndaquil. Then Cyndaquil can use Dig and rock Charmeleon's world. So go ahead, Charmeleon. Do your worst. I will do the same. We will, we will rock you. Uh-oh. Hold that thought. Cyndaquil gets paralyzed. Okay, good. That was actually a little dangerous, because Dragon's Breath can paralyze. 
the Pokemon. Luckily, I don't have to worry about that. So just one hit, Cyndaquil, one hit! Oh, dang it, we don't have enough strength be behind that. Uh, okay, let's try again. I have confidence in you, Cyndaquil, I have confidence. Just take the dragon's breath. Don't get paralyzed, please. Alright, cool. Make it a crit. Make it a quit. Crit, Cyndaquil. I know you can. Crit, 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 crit. Ah, dang it. Well, good job, Cyndaquil. You tried. You did your very best. But it's time to switch you out. Cold Isle? Finish him! Take this hit. Uh, that didn't really look like you tanked it. Which makes me a little bit worried. Makes me think I should switch to Umbreon because Umbreon has quick attack. Yeah, that was my L. Nice nah, dang it. You better have enough strength behind your quick attack on Brian. Or we might legitimately be in trouble. So go ahead. Use quick attack. And make it a good one. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. Oh, my gosh, that's not good. How'd this suddenly go so bad? No! No! Charmeleon's faster! Unless there's some friendship level thing that I know doesn't exist in this game, I'm toast! Literally! Oh no, I'm actually going to lose this battle! Oh. That's my first actual L. That's it! Over and done! You think you're so smug, don't you? I almost had that! Hmm. That's it! Bye! No, 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 no. We're trying this again. I don't give up that easily. If I did, I wouldn't have half the shiny Pokemon I do. Not that that's important. But I've done a lot of things just with persistence, perseverance, and stupidity! And this is gonna be one of those. So let's try this again. Uh. Throw Toll Dial in there, Fortress, and Umbreon. I can use Fortress for Persian. As long as he picks the same Pokemon again. Alright, let's try this again. I think I'll be relying much more upon Umbreon this time around. Because Umbreon's the fastest Pokemon I have. And in the words of a certain YouTuber, SPEED IS KEY! Wait, what? Oh no! Uh, what are you doing? Frick! Well, this strategy sucked. Okay, this 
this guy is going to be trouble no matter what I choose. Time to switch out, Toll Guy. We're eating our way out of this one. Fortress, take this hit. There's a reason I chose you. Not kidding me with that, Thunder Punt Buzzlar. Ooh, wow. That did more damage than I thought it would. Hmm. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna throw spikes in there so I have a slightly better chance? Question mark? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I might lose way faster this time. I really don't like this. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. This was not planned accordingly. I just assumed he would pick the same Pokemon and based my choices based on that. But he sucker punched me with the Electabuzz. Boy, Umbreon, we got work cut out for us. You're gonna have to carry us for most of this entire battle. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna rely on sand attack for right now. Cause like I said, if the Pokemon can miss... Ooh, wow, you got good defense. If the Pokemon can miss the attack, then that gives me a better chance of not losing my Pokemon. Luckily, Buzzlar doesn't have enough power to take down Umbreon, although four hits might do it. So, after this sand attack, I'm going to start retaliating. That's, that's not an actual move I can use, but my point is I'm going to start attacking back. It's time to go from defensive to offensive. Oh, this isn't working. This is really bad right now. Alright, use feign attack. Oh, jeez, that barely did anything. This is bad. I wish I had moved to slow down some of these Pokemon. Okay, good. That attack missed. Gives me a free attack. Ugh. This is this is so hard to watch right now. I don't think Umbreon's gonna make it. Okay, I'm gonna use Sand Attack again. Alright, good. I just have this bad feeling Umbreon's gonna be taken out before Buzzlar is. So I might as well make it just a tad easier for Toll to dial. Give him more of a chance. Alright. One more sand attack. Nice. Alright, let's hope Electabuzz misses this next attack. Although, wait, I could just go for a quick attack. I'm so almost smart slash dumb. Quick attack will hit. It barely will do anything, but at least it will hit. Miss, miss, miss! Ah, but Umbreon's still holding strong. The worst part about this is that if Umbreon does beat Buzzlar, then a lot of those sand attacks are almost gonna be useless in a way. 
You'll let Umbion hold on just a little bit longer, but nope, never mind. Didn't happen. Two Pokemon down! Two! And he still has all three of his. And I have no idea what his third Pokemon is. I could pray and hope it's a fire type, but... It might not even matter. Toll Dial's too slow. Uh... Alright, Toll Dial, finish up with Slash. Please, Miss Thunder Punch, please! Yes! Alright, Toll Dial lives! Weak point? What the? Okay, what's he gonna send out? He's probably not gonna send out Pound Hour. Nope, never mind. He did! The big problem here is even one simple flamethrower or crunch in this case is gonna do a lot of damage to Toll Dial. Oh boy, that's bad. I'm riding on Toll to Dial. Okay, well, Pound Hour is down. But what will the last Pokemon be? Does Toldodile have a chance against this last Pokemon? Alright, Fire type, good. But Quilava's definitely gonna be faster than Toldodile. So the real question is can Toldodile tank this next attempt? Come on, Toldodile. Come on! Yes! Now get a crit! Finish it! Finish it in one blow! Oh! Oh! Alright then! Okay, he's using Flame Wheel again. He might not have Flame Thrower. So take the attack! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that was too close to call. By 4 HP, Toll the Dial barely clinches it. I was about to lose again. Jeez. Just when you think you know what's going to happen in this, just when you think I'm going to overpower everyone or I'm going to get totally owned, things like this happen. I think I can only be grateful that um, Quilava had Flame Wheel and not Flamethrower, because if he had Flamethrower, I know I would have lost for sure. Ooh, I'm a up against a snowboarder. Which means I can bring out Cyndaquil again, maybe. Although he's got a big poi on, too. Eh, talk a piece, barely seen any action. Because that's not a bad idea, right? And then we'll do Fortress and Cyndaquil. Sorry, Chikorita. At some point, we'll find a place for you again. Talk is one of the Pokemon that's barely got any face time. And you up against the volume over like an avalanche. Air Tar! Which was. So what we got here? Well, a track's not gonna work. Let's go for Sweet Kiss. Air Tar uses Smurf! That took about just half of Togepi's oh, HP. No! It missed! Alright, well, when in doubt, just use Metronome and hope for the best. Togepi 
probably wasn't the best of choices. I could have just gone with Targetic, to be honest. Lick? <laughs> that will show me up for using Togepi. Ah, boy. Sorry, Togepi. Sorry. I'm gonna set you up for failure there, I feel. Alright, Fortress, come on out! Uh, hopefully rely on your defense, even though it's not as good as I thought it would be. Uh, I guess we could go with Spikes again. No, 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 no. I'm going with Sandstorm. Thunder? Whew. Good thing Fortress could tank that. That would have been really damaging. There we go. Slowly lower Taurus's HP. Now I'm just going to go for wall out. Here, Tar's gonna continue using Thunder, but there's gonna be times where it could miss. Ow, it didn't miss that time. Also, I think it did more damage for some reason. Oh, shush. I'm slowly chipping away at Air Tar, just like I did earlier. He's gonna just continue to use Thunder. It's got 75. Oh no. Fortress is paralyzed. Oh uh, boy. That's not good. Hmm. Guess I'll just use strength. Sir. What kind of move pool do you have? Jeez! Wish I had gotten someone with fighting type moves. Alright. Slowly this is working. But uh, I don't think Fortress is going to be able to hang on. Uh, I'm gonna hope that. Okay. He's using Surf again. I hope Fortress can tank this. Yes, barely. Fortress doesn't have teeth. But Fortress has spikes! So we'll let. What? Uh, did Sandstorm go away? I was hoping Sandstorm would take down Air Tar. Oh boy. Well, that's it for that. And again, I'm left with one Pokemon against all three. Okay, Cyndaquil, good luck. You're gonna need it. I'll say one thing, I'm not using Togepi again. I guess Headbutt? Wow, I'm surprised Air Toy didn't use Surf. Probably because he didn't need to. You do not have good defense at all, Cyndaquil. Oh. And there goes the battle! I lose! Again. Wow, there's actually a chance I might not be able to finish this. 
Wait, cool, Junior! This is not the outcome I thought I was about to see. Maximum cool! And with that, we got one more continue left. There's still two opponents. You know you can't move if you're frozen. <laughs> I think I know his strategy. Okay. Hmm. Fortress, Umbreon, and uh, I'm going with Toll Dial. You sit this one out, Cyndaquil. Alright, here we go again. Sit close. Yep, it's Toros again. So what am I going to do differently this time? Hmm. You know what? I'll just start out with Rollout right away. Because he's just going to continue to try to paralyze me. So if I could get more moves on him... Ha! Okay, that was free. If I could get more moves off of him, then that will be good. The thing is that Rollout is weaker than Strength is at the very beginning, so... Oh my gosh. Deltar is not having good luck this time. He kept landing all of those thunders in the last match. But not this time. <laughs> okay then. Can we get a noble out? Yes! Oh, yes! I needed that! Get one more! Come on, Fortress! One more! Make me proud! It's time for redemption! Shake it off! Shake it off, Fortress! You're not paralyzed! One more hit! One more hit! Yes! Oh, yes! How the tables have turned! Oh, the wipeout! Whew! I needed that after the wipeout I took. Chill, man! I swear it looks shiny. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's not, because shiny's. Um, tint to cool is more of a greenish tint. Are you gonna get another rollout? Huh? Critical hit? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna run away with this! Lost the edge there! <laughs> I know, right? And not based off just one attack. And his last is Teyursa. Well, I'm pretty sure... Oh. Oh, the... The rollout stopped. Then let's go with Sandstorm! My gosh, you got all five hits in Fortress. You basically stole... Um... Give me a sec. You basically stole Charles' luck. And I just got destroyed. Hmm. Okay, well that's unfortunate. And best of all, Sandstorm is in effect. It's gonna hit both Pokemon now. Yay! Uh, I guess we'll go for Faint Attack. It should be Strong and Quick Attack, and like I said, Umbreon is my fastest Pokemon for sure. Yep, 
that's going to be it. That's going to be how I win. Except... Fighting attacks are super effective against dark types. It's like the only flaw with that. But... I... Oh. Smart. Real smart. Maybe he did go to college. Wait, he's confused? Huh. I didn't even realize Umbreon got confused by Dynamic Punch. Ah, jeez. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. Sandstorm is still in effect. If Toldial can tank this attack, then I'm all good. Hmm. I guess I could go for Screech. Oh, I should have gone for an attack. If I lose this just because I didn't use an attack, I'm going to be pretty darn salty. Yay, I win! Not the cleanest of victories, but I will take it. And it's all thanks to Fortress, mostly. But yeah, not the cleanest of victories. Also, I've got only 15 minutes to complete this, because that's how long this is taken? Heh, <laughs> those things happen. These things happen. Something like that. All I need is the rising badge, but after getting beaten down by two of the latest competitors, I'm not feeling as confident. Okay, it's a psychic. Let me look into your soul. What? Defeat me? Yes! I hope. The obvious choice is Umbreon, but he's got some other Pokemon with him. Including Raichu. Uh, you know what? Let's give Chikorita a chance. I think Umbreon's gonna have to be my ace. Oh, but I told you I doesn't have good defense. Hmm. He does have a Growlithe. So should I use Tolda Dial? No, I'm gonna use Fortress and Umbreon. Seems like Fortress and Umbreon have been the ones that have clutched out victories for me. So why not end off with them? Chikorita! Leave one more lasting good appeal. Oh, frick, never mind. We're switching r out right now. Uh, to Toll Dial, though? Hmm. Already things have gone bad. Okay, what, what attacks do you have? Giga Drain, Toxic. It would only work if Chikorita can tank the attack. Is it worth the risk? Toldire will take too much damage from Growlithe's Flamethrower. Alright, I'm taking the chance. I'm taking the chance. I'm gonna hope Chikorita can somehow outlast this Flamethrower and use Toxic on Growlithe. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So it wasn't a complete waste. At this point, that's like the only thing I can do. <sighs> Chikorita, I am so sorry you had to go out like this, but hopefully that one toxic attack will tip the favors in to my field. GG, Chikorita. GG. Alright, told the dial. With Chikoria's poison in effect, 
I'm going to need to hope that you can take this Growlithe down without too much problems. Oh, never mind. I'm hosed. Yep, I'm definitely hosed. Okay, cool. Cool, real cool. To switch Pokemon now again. Go Fortress! At least there's a good chance that Fortress won't be taken out right away. I've got eight minutes to finish this match. Well, technically seven now. What? He's paralyzed the boy! What just happened? Sandstorm, Sandstorm. Please. No. No. It's all going wrong so quickly. Oh my gosh. This is. This went so long. Also, Umbreon's gone. Oh. Use Blizzard. Use Blizzard. Get lucky. Get lucky, Tall Dial. Take the attack. Nope, you didn't take it. Painful. Everything went so wrong in this episode. Yes, just as I predicted. I foresaw the expression you have now. This is my last continue. It's make or break time. <sighs> I see. Fine. Let's get started. Okay, what's my strategy this time? I don't know, but I don't think Chikoria should be a part of it. Is he going to use Growlithe, or is he going to use Raichu? <sighs> Alright. Cyndaquil. I feel like Fortress should have more of the defense. Uh, I guess we'll do Fortress and Umbreon. Maybe I should have Toll Dial, but Toll Dial doesn't have good defense. And if Raichu's put on the field, forget it. Toll Dial's just hosed. He's screwed. Gonna be shocked to submission. So here we go. Little Cyndaquil, the others against the world. Okay, so Growlithe has been sent out. This might be in my benefit. We're gonna have Toldal use Dig. Oh, wait. <laughs> Why did I go on Toldal? Sorry, sorry, Cyndaquil. Sorry. Plus, Cyndaquil's faster. Uh, no, again. Well, this sucks. I'm just gonna close my eyes and wait for the worst part. Oh, wow, Cyndaquil lived. Alright, well, now I know the strategy. More than likely, Growlithe is going to try to use Dig again. Yep. Lay 
clearly. Now that there's some sun, it's going to be a scorcher. This might not work, though. Oh, wait. Cyndaquil's faster, so it will work. Cyndaquil's going to get this attack in, no matter how much damage it does. It wasn't enough. All right. I got Growlithe in the deadlock. Use Dig again, Cyndaquil, avoiding Growlithe and taking in the attack. I'm just lucky Cyndaquil was able to take the attack Growlithe did, the dig he did against Cyndaquil. So since that's the case, I'm definitely going to be able to take out Growlithe. still stay in this fight. Oh man. Fortunately, the sunlight's gone. But it's not gonna matter right now. Gralis misses the attack. I get in the hit. And then I get to fight the second Pokemon with Cyndaquil at half HP. So it could be worse. It could be the last battle all over again. So, so far, things are going fairly well. Alright, Raichu. Hmm. I'm wondering if Raichu may have Dig. Alright, I'm taking a chance. I'm going to try to use... Nope, he doesn't. Well, not that I know of. It wouldn't have mattered even if I tried to use Dig. <sighs> okay. Last time I tried to use Fortress, he hung on by 1 HP, but then he was done. Thinking. All right, I'm going with Umbreon. I'm gonna focus on Sand Attack and hope that it makes Raichu miss enough times. Oh no! No! Not Dynamic Punch! No! Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm going to win, you guys. Part of that was picking Togepi for the team, just, just for nostalgic purposes. But I don't think I'm winning this. Well, that's... Okay, my camera cut off. A lot of things. A lot of things are the matter with this. Alright, let's just get through this. Let's just lose. I'm going to have to come back to this game at some point and try to make up for this falling, but I'm over it. I came close, but based on bad decisions I made earlier, including picking Togepi and just maybe some bad RNG, I'm not beating this. Unlike the first Pokemon Stadium, I am just not going to be able to beat this at all. I'm calling it here. It's not happening. So I'm just going to finish this up as quickly as I can. Here comes the dynamic punch. Oh. Really? Really? You're going to delay my pain a little longer? I know I'm not going to win. 
Game over, man. Game over. Stop this. Oh my gosh. Alright, fine. Fine, 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 fine. You want me to be serious about it? Fine. I'll be serious about it. Let's keep up the sand attacks. Let's keep it so Vaichu can't hit me. Now watch, he's gonna hit me. Nope, not yet. I still really don't think I'm gonna win this. Umbreon has less than half of his HP left. There's still one more Pokemon I haven't even seen yet. And depending on the attack that one Pokemon throws at me, Umbreon could be taken down in one hit. This is painful. This is so painful. So much so that's going to be the name of the episode. I came in here feeling overconfident. Really, truly believing that I had what it takes to win another Poke Cup on the second game. Oh my gosh. Umbreon, just give up. Just give up. Oh my gosh. Alright, fine. I'll at least use Quick Attack. So we can take down Raichu, that way I can watch myself get destroyed by the last Pokemon. What a way to end. Sigh indeed. Sigh indeed. Wait. Nope, nope, it's over. I think it's over. Ah, it's over! Just when I thought the sun was about to shine down on me. Beaten by a Nautu. Beaten by a psychic Pokemon, which is why I brought Umbreon with me the entire time. Okay, well, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my slow descent into failure. Next time, we're going to do something way more fun. Somewhere. Where is it? Oh, it's right. No? Yeah, it's right here. Next time, we're doing mini games and quizzes. That should be way more fun than this. So until then, and until my next videos, whenever I decide to actually get them together, because my stupid... Uh, whenever I get the chance to upload anything, this has been We The Play. I got nothing left to say. Enjoy your day. Catch you later.